Installing the Brondell Circle Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System is simple. Follow these steps to install and use your water filter. Also need an existing hole at least 7 16 inches in diameter in the sink or countertop to install the supplied filtered water faucet. If drilling a new hole in your sink or countertop is required for installation, please consult a professional. To install the provided faucet, insert the top spout into the faucet's main body and screw the top cap clockwise until secure. Insert the faucet's blue tubing through the escutcheon and bring the escutcheon up all the way to the main body. Feed the blue tubing through the sink or countertop hole to the cabinet below. From under the counter, thread the large plastic washer, flat side up, lock washer, and locking nut up the blue tube to the countertop. Tighten the locking nut until the faucet assembly is firmly in place. Pull the plastic tab out from the battery compartment to activate the faucet indicator. To supply water to the circle system, turn off the cold water supply under the sink at the wall. Turn on the sink's cold water faucet to drain the residual water from the water lines. Disconnect the metal cold water supply line from the shutoff valve. Insert the rubber washer into the provided T-valve and connect it to the cold water supply valve using the provided adapters if necessary. Reconnect the faucet water supply hose to the top of the T-valve. Locate the provided orange tubing and insert one end of the orange tubing into the T-valve quick connection. Push the tube firmly into place and ensure the T-valve is in the closed position with valve switch pointing up. As the circle reverse osmosis system creates wastewater, you will be required to have a drain line connection. This can be a pre-existing quarter inch quick connection or this can be drilled into the drain pipe. The following steps display how to drill into the drain pipe. If unsure about this process, please seek professional help and always wear safety protection, including safety goggles. Locate the provided drain clamp and find a suitable area above the drain pipe trap to install it. Using an eighth of an inch drill bit, drill a hole into one side of the pipe where the drain clamp will be installed. Wrapping masking tape or duct tape around your bit will stop the drill from going through to the opposite side. Use a quarter inch drill bit to enlarge the hole. Next, unscrew the gray quick connector from the saddle of the drain clamp and disconnect the two clamp halves. Insert a straight, thin item into the front of the saddle, and then insert the end of the guide into the hole drilled in the drain pipe. With the clamp lined up with the hole, screw on the back of the clamp and tighten with a screwdriver. Remove the guide and reattach the quick connector. Next, insert the white drain tube into the quick connector and push firmly into place. To connect the tubing to the circle, first insert the open end of the blue tubing into the circle's middle hole labeled outlet. Connect the open end of the white tubing from the drain clamp to the hole labeled drain. Lastly, connect the open end of the orange tubing into the hole labeled inlet. With tubing installed, move the circle into position. To run water to your circle system, turn the cold water supply on and open the T-valve switch to point at the quick connector. Check for leaks. Before the first use, turn on the provided faucet for 10 minutes to purge the air out of the system. It is normal for some water to flow out of the faucet during this first purge. Next, turn the provided faucet off for 40 minutes and let the water tank fill. After 40 minutes, turn the faucet on for 10 minutes or until the tank empties to flush the filters and the water tank. This wastewater is safe for watering plants. When the tank is empty, turn the faucet off. After approximately 40 minutes, the tank will refill with filtered water ready to drink. Congratulations, your circle reverse osmosis installation is complete. Please contact Brondell Customer Support for any additional questions.